be vlog number three. So as you can see, I finally got my driving license. Uh, that was a fun day, to be honest. I went to the driving school and then I, I went from the reception to counter 11, back to the reception, back to another counter and was keep going on like that. Uh, finally I got uh, to do the eye test, if you can see clearly. Yeah, the guy was showing me something in Arabic, so I said to him, eh, it looks like an E, so, and then it was passed. Uh, finally I needed to go outside and I waited for the car and then the, the guy that took the exam he looked at my papers signed it stamped it then I needed to go back inside and then I got my driver's license so I didn't drive for one minute so that was good it, uh, the charges were about 500 real or something. So I don't have a own car yet. I'm uh, renting uh, so, uh, several cars at the moment. Uh, the car that you have seen before, it's uh, a Hyundai Accent. It's 2019. It was uh, it was a good car, but I'm not going to go for that car. Uh, at the moment, I have a Hyundai Sonata, also 2019. Uh, it's a bit better, but uh, I still don't know what I'm going to buy. Driving here is uh, is fun, to be honest. There are rules, but nobody cares about it. So if you're driving on the freeway, <laughs> it might just happen that you're getting passed on the shoulder. They don't care. They just do it. Uh, if you are at the traffic light, two lanes for a left turn, three for a straight ahead, then it most likely will be that all lanes will turn left. So you really have to take notice about that. But other than that, uh, it's okay. You just need to drive like the locals. So I'm now here for a little bit more than two months. Uh, sometimes it's still challenging, especially in local places. For example, yesterday we went to, uh, to a mall and I really needed to go to the bathroom and there is only the Middle East standard bathroom. So no toilet paper, only the water hose. So I needed to use it. Uh, it was quite an experience, to be honest. But yeah, other than that, everything is going well. As you can see, I'm still recording my vlogs in the apartment uh, because the local people here are still not very fond of uh, vlogging in public. Uh, I have tried it, went to the Red Sea Mall, uh, did some vlogging there but then the security guys came up to me and said eh, maybe it's better that you don't do this here or uh, try to do it in a different place. So, um, Last week I went to Bahrain, we had a management meeting there, uh, that was on a Thursday and then I stayed for uh, the weekend, so I traveled only back to Saudi on Saturday. So the good part about Bahrain, it's, uh, it's a Middle East country, but it's open, so you do, can drink beers, alcohol, everything, and in some places they even have pork. So. Yeah, I, I enjoyed myself. I had uh, a few Coronas and had some ribs. So that was good. Thursday evening we went out with some colleagues. And <laughs> that was quite an experience. There are a lot of, uh, how do you say that, working girls over there. On uh, Friday we went to the beach. I enjoyed that very much. Because here in Saudi you can go to the beach but uh, it's not that relaxing because it is still a bit strict. In Bahrain it's open so you can go to the to the beach, just walk around in in your shorts, nobody cares. Uh, women are rocking around in their bikinis, nobody cares. So that was uh, that was a good day. So while I was in Bahrain, um, 
I got myself a little present already. Uh, I bought a new watch. It's a, it's a Tissot watch. It's a Swiss made. I have no knowledge about fancy watches or if this is good or something. I know it's uh, automatic. I like it. Uh, it was also a good price. So that was one of the reasons why I bought it. Of course it's not a Doc Hoyer or a, a Rolex or something. But frankly uh, I bought it for daily wear to the office and to the clients. So yeah, I got a good deal out of it. So that's, uh, that's good. So yeah, Bahrain was, uh, was fun. Uh, I'm thinking about going there more often. Not because uh, I don't like it in Saudi. Uh, it's just a nice reset for me. The flight from Jeddah to Bahrain is only two hours or something, so that's okay. And the, the prices are also okay for the for the flight. Uh, hotels are pretty cheap. Most of the time, my colleagues from Daman will be there every weekend, so we can enjoy having lunch, dinner, enjoying on the beach. So yeah, I was planning to uh, spend my birthday in Bahrain. It is on November 16th, but last week uh, my customer told me that maybe we go to the USA on November 14th or something. So probably I will be celebrating my birthday in the plane or at the airport or somewhere, but nothing is certain yet. Uh, if I'm not going to the USA, then I will definitely go to Bahrain, uh, not to get drunk or something, but just enjoy myself a bit. Uh, and otherwise I will enjoy myself in the USA. Yeah, in general I just like it here in Saudi. Um, I didn't find anything yet that I was like, oh, I need to go back home or I need to go somewhere else. But most of the time, especially during the work week, it, it's okay. Uh, I go to work, come home, go to the gym, and then have some dinner, then do some Netflix or play on my Xbox and then go sleep. And during the weekend I'm sometimes bored. Basically because it's too hot to do anything during the day. It's still uh, 31, 32 degrees. So that it's just too hot. Also because of the humidity. Uh, in the evening it's getting better. Um, in the evening we are experiencing already some light breezes up here. So that's nice. So Maybe I'll go out uh, a bit more in the evenings. But the problem is then everybody in Jeddah is doing that. Especially with the children. So at night it's very busy everywhere. Um, massive traffic jams. There are about uh, 5 million people here in Jeddah. So you can imagine if everybody goes out in the evening, it will be crowded. And especially because uh, most Saudi people don't care how to drive, uh, you will have some traffic jams. But yeah, other than that, um, uh, they say it will get better during the day, especially mid-November till mid-January. Temperature will drop to 21, 20 degrees or something. So other than that, uh, I'm quite happy to be here. Uh, sometimes I uh, miss some small things, just go outside in, in the afternoon or uh, go see some friends or having a drink or meet up with someone. So yeah, that are the, the small things that I miss. But luckily there is uh, WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, Instagram, Snapchat. I still have a lot of contact with people in Holland. Uh, so yeah, that, that's okay. And also during the night, um, sometimes I'm working still at home, uh, especially because uh, we have also USA shipments. So that's a nice uh, distraction for me. Uh, in the weekend, uh, I do miss, that, miss it. So at the moment, I'm not uh, going to the gym very often because I need to uh, buy a new mattress or a new bed because the mattress that I'm now having that was provided by the housing company, um, it's killing my back. The problem is that I now have a spring mattress and it's very hard and the pressure points on my body is not good. 
so I need to check if uh, what kind of other options there are. Luckily for me, there is still uh, IKEA over here, so I will be probably going there to check out some things. But there are a lot of other uh, bad places uh, around here in Jeddah. When I came here, I uh, was contracted for handling one account. It's a uh, ghost. Uh, and since two weeks uh, I'm now also account manager for another customer here in Saudi Arabia. Somewhere I'm doing a good job, so that uh, hopefully that is the case. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see how uh, the developing will be with that. That account is, uh, is more in my, in my field, it's still ocean freight and a lot of brake milk. So that was something that I used to. Uh, for coast, mostly 90% is uh, air freight, so that was quite new for me. But I'm getting up to speed there, so that's uh, that's good. Uh, last week we moved a uh, big shipment from the US to Jeddah for testing. So if I'm going to the US, I will try to do uh, some vlogging there. Uh, I don't know what the timeline will be and um, which offices we are going to visit and. Uh, it will probably be JFK and Atlanta. So thank you for watching this uh, third vlog. Hopefully the next vlog will be in a couple of weeks. Maybe when I go to the US. Other than that, hit that like button, follow me, like it, comment, just do it. Thank you and see you next time.